morning, good people. Good morning. I love saying that. And Father Richard, from Good Shepherd, said that all the time before every Mass. And I love to do that here at Good Shepherd. Welcome to Good Shepherd. Welcome to the conference. Uh, this is going to be short. I'm going to go, go a few minutes because adoration is waiting for us. Reconciliation is waiting for us. So, first of all, I, I'm not, there's a few people to thank. Um, and, but I want to thank the ladies for coming today. This is a big treat back. <laughs> Uh, a little bit about our spring conference. We also have a spring conference. We haven't nailed that down exactly yet, but it's probably going to be the first or second week after Easter and probably more someplace in centralized in the Metroplex. If anybody has a church or a priest that wants to give us their campus for that uh, conference, let us know, uh, and we'll be happy to do that. And we've had a lot of great conferences around the Metroplex. Um, I just want to thank some people, too, uh, that really had a lot to do with this conference. Uh, and, and first of all, I want to thank Kyle. Kyle's our leader for this experience. Give him a big hand. He's so I, I want to thank Bob DeWay, Matt Curry, Mark, uh, Montiel, Manny, Joey, Fred, uh, Bill, all the guys on the leadership team that I didn't mention, but all of us play a role in this. It makes it easier when we have a lot of people participate. If it's just a couple of us, it's difficult, but because we have such a great large team, that helps. I want to thank all those guys. Also, just thank anybody in a red shirt, all the volunteers that came here early this morning, 6.30 to help us do this. So all the guys in the t-shirts are the ones that helped us. So thank them as well. Um, and if you want to become part of our team, there's forms on your, there's a yellow form like this. That's on your uh, that's on your chairs. Just fill that out and take it over to the table, and we could we could definitely use your assistance with our conference. All right, I just want to say a couple things about St. Joseph from my perspective. After listening to the Father, uh, this is probably not that great, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, so St. Joseph can, is a model of humility of courage, obedience. He didn't say a lot, right? But he, all these other things, obedience, doing the right thing. You know, that that's what we need to be doing, the right thing, even if it's not politically correct. Even if it's, if it's a situation where we just, you know, it's hard to say, but we have to do the right thing. We have to have integrity in everything we do. We're not boastful, we're not prideful, we, humility is, that's what I get from St. Joseph. So what does holiness mean? It means practicing our faith. It means faithfully participating in mass, adoration, reconciliation, being reconciled with others, forgiving past offenses. How many of us, we have family members that we can't do that. We need to do that. It means practicing charity at our parish, out in the world, giving of our time, treasure, and talent. It's so important to be holy because that's what's going to get us to heaven. Like, if we're not holy, we're not getting to heaven. It's that simple. And holy makes us happy. The whole, the word blessed is, is, is to make you happy. When, when Jesus blesses people, when we're blessed, that make, makes us happy. The world's not going to make us happy. No matter how much we make, no matter how much we do, the world's not going to make us happy. Also, if we want to be holy, if we want one day to become in the presence of our holy, the all holy one, almighty God himself, then we must be living in his presence. Even now, to be with God forever in the kingdom of heaven. It's important to be holy, guys, That's and women. That's why we come to this. And that's why we pray to talk to God every day as much as we can. Pray, 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 as I always say. He lives in us, and we are his missionaries to bring others to him. St. Joseph was a perfect example of that, uh, as you heard today. And we need to use him as our model. To be blessed is to be happy, and again, to have a full relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I've said this. In my church witness, and my 
so in every probably every conference. Man, it's our job to get our families to help. Thank you for showing up. You know, we were going to do this conference at first. We were thinking we're just going to let we're going to invite everyone, women included. But we we were afraid that 400 women would sign up and 20 men would sign up. <laughs> so we made it. We made the men sign up first, and we said you can bring your spouse. That that way, we don't have all women at this conference. But, <laughs> but I love it too because this morning I uh, I was I came in at six, and there was already women waiting to get in the building. <laughs> I didn't have the lights on yet, so men would get here about nine thirty or whatever. So. <laughs> anyway, that's I love that. I love that spirit of the women. Keep encouraging your men to come to these conferences, even your sons. Your, your husbands, your grandfather, whatever, sit, get them to these comments.